A 14-year-old Tucum Carry girl is recovering from a taser shot to her head. Her family is questioning whether the officer who fired the shot used excessive force. News 13's Alex Tomlin is live in the Newsplex with more. Jessica, police say Kylie Martinez physically abused her mother during an argument last week, then ran off. When police chief Roger Hatcher caught up with the teen, he said he had no choice but to taser her. 14-year-old Kylie Martinez looks like a normal teen. Until you see this. It's really painful. 18 staples and 6 stitches pieced her head back together after she was tasered by Tucum Carry Police Chief Roger Hatcher. Her family says doctors told them one of the taser's prongs went through Kylie's skull and hit her brain. It happened last Thursday after Kylie and her mother argued over explicit cell phone messages and pictures that the mother says Kylie was sending to older men. The police report says Stacy Atkin took her daughter to the police station for help. But when they got there, Kylie bolted to this park. And I just wanted help. I didn't mean for my child to get injured the way she did. Chief Roger Hatcher caught up with Kylie at the park. The teen claims she tried to walk away when she saw him, but heard him tell her to stop. But when the chief pulled out his taser, Kylie ran out of fear. He just decided to use the taser. He just... Don't go and, and, and tase a 14-year-old child. But the police report states Chief Hatcher told Martinez to stop running and warned her about the taser. When she refused to stop, he tased her. Police told us they can't comment on this case because there's an ongoing investigation. Chief Hatcher is on administrative leave while an independent firm investigates the incident. Kylie's family claims the force he used was too aggressive. She's just a child. Kylie's family says the situation is made worse because she has epilepsy. Her father says since she's been tasered, Kylie is having balance problems and can't climb stairs. Back to you. Okay, Alex.